talking about now. Doubt. Sometimes I just like pop in because I like seeing my plush there. Holy shit. That's so uh, sad. That is so yeah, sad. Also, oh, since I feel the anger. Talking, probably only have Maddie in chat. I will say. He gave me a free plush and my dog took a piss on it. And ripped <laughs> it out. I'm serious. <laughs> I forgot about it. The dog Wait, knew. I, need, I, I just need to have a moment here. Can you just let him talk? There, there's gonna be a round two of the Bobby plushies. I'm gonna try not to sound like a psychopath. Okay, I'm gonna go do off, Nick. Go off. Who the fuck does he think he is? <laughs> really? I'd like to know. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? He couldn't even sell 250 plushies at the fucking zenith of his fucking popularity. Okay, at his biggest moment of his entire career, he couldn't even sell fucking 250 stuffed animals of this fucking retarded fucking freak. Okay, so I'm just super curious. Who the fuck does he think he is that he can show back up with a dead channel and fucking sell 250 of them? He, you know how embarrassed this whole community was because that fucking idiot went out and did that shit do you know how embarrassing it is secondhand that we all had to do fucking group streams and shit like this talking about oh you gotta sell <laughs> Bobax's plushies because he sold like fucking 12 of them okay he had to get two of the biggest youtubers who hate each other to publicly feud just to sell enough to sell it out and uh, during this by the way salvo did a stream where he kissed edwin on the lips and Bobax had to keep calling in and flagellating so he could just sell maybe one or two more of them. Do you think that you needed to put uh, put this fucking community through this again? I don't care about any of this BPD stuff anymore. I don't care about any of this new shit anymore. If this guy was my friend, he did none of that stuff, I'd have dropped him tomorrow. We had a fucking call. We said, Tom can sell plushies. None of us can. Know your fucking role. And everyone agreed on it. I don't even know. Do you remember this call? Do you remember I, this? Said, I really hey, don't. To be honest, really I fucking, don't. <laughs> this was really fucking embarrassing for okay. everybody. This was really fucking gay. I, and then this guy is going to go out and sell fucking plushies that he knows he can't sell because he's fucking retarded. He thinks he's a rich, non-internet super celebrity, and he's going to sell these 250 plushies. He's not going to sell more than five. I thought the plushie drama was fucking hilarious. I was not embarrassed I, at all. I, I haven't ever done merch because I am like mentally scarred of the embarrassment that Josh had to go through when he tried to sell plushies. It has impacted my thought process on selling merch for my brand, okay? Damn. But Josh doesn't have that. Josh doesn't feel like, holy shit, I'm a colossal failure. People around him feel that, but he doesn't feel it. He has no idea what that feels like. He doesn't have that emotion, okay? So he just goes out and does a colossal failure job where he has to get bailed out by every single person he knows just to sell a stupid toy. Okay, and he looks at that as an absolute victory. Like, oh, we ought to do this again. Fuck off. He's gonna sell like three of them. I mean, he sold like 30 naturally the first not time. Give him one. They dropped him from Meta PCs. He's not getting a fucking plushie deal. You know, I I bet he will actually sell all the plushies because there are certain uh. I think they dropped alias. him. From I don't know if they did, but there, there are certain alias of the internet that are now keen and interested on Bow Blacks. Such an unspecified community. <laughs> Sell merch. Why are you selling merch in something that you that's like what is it, twenty-five dollars to thirty dollars for shipping? Where you know you have to sell two hundred and fifty of them, or they refund all of the money, and you look like a fucking loser. Why would that be your first merch item that you're selling? Why wouldn't you sell shirts? So you know, okay, I sell this many shirts per month. This is a good start. Now I know that I could potentially sell this dropout. Like, why the fuck? How stupid do you have to be to embarrass yourself like that? Can I buy one of the plushies when he makes a new? Can I buy one of the new? New ball black splashes. So fucking unself-aware <laughs> that you can go to Keem's house and shoot them with paintball guns. He's got barrels and truckloads <laughs> of this guy's fucking toy. Nick, I think uh, you need to give him a chance, bro. Let him fucking prove himself. Please him a chance and he embarrassed <laughs> everybody but also nick you, you can't really argue with the like the first merch shit because if he like sells a mug with his logo on it some crazy bitch is gonna smash it in her car like yes dude that nick was funny and Augie sold that merch. Augie, have you sold a combined 250 pieces of merch? Not 250. I will say my when I launched, I've only done merch one time. And it was back when yeah. I averaged like 100 viewers back in like 2019. I launched a coffee mug. And I made like $500 the first day. So the I sold, is, I sold them. Merch. I sold them back merch. then. If I sold the merch now. Can't sell, but the guy who reads tweets can't If I sold merch, merch right now, I would sell a lot. But 
the thing is, I wouldn't be doing like 200 plushies, like where I have to like, it's like a clothing line where it like comes to my house and I have to sell like a certain number of yeah. them. I would just do like Teespring where it's like, oh, you know, like it's a company that outsources all of the fucking, you know, production and shipping or whatever, right? I just make an account on yeah. a website and I just put my fucking design on it and then that's it. I, I'm done with it, right? If you guys, if you guys think I'm being a scumbag, just be clear. A Cheeto has like fucking, he had like 400,000 subs, 500,000 now. He didn't sell them. Well, who the wants a plushie? With, uh... the, women buy plushies, right? Like who the fuck is gonna buy like a plushie of their Mom favorite fucking out every time. My dog Tom's done two runs. Yeah, I get damn. Well, I guess I don't know. It's, I don't really know who the market is for this other they than like women. They sell tons of They sell U2s and shit. U2s plushies as well. Yeah. Those guys sell that shit. There's a wavy web surf U2s, right? Some of these guys can pull. They can do it. I don't think either of us could, but we, there's a chance that we could. I Achito definitely couldn't, couldn't though. No, yeah. That Achito couldn't. The people who are gonna buy this stupid merch are the people who are like dream viewers. Those are gonna who's gonna buy it or whatever. Main channel Nick Diorio viewers, even if I uploaded tomorrow, wouldn't be interested in buying a fucking plushie of me. Dream viewers might be, but again, it's a fucking plushie. Who wants a who wants a stuffed animal? <laughs> <laughs> fucking face on their shelf. Jaden McNeil really? in chat. Bullblax was hoping to sell his shallow audience plushies so he'd have their addresses. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna sell rainbow plushies. But who really, who wants Nick DiOrio's fat fucking face on their shelf in a fucking squeezable form? Is that something you want in your fucking house? Yeah, yes. I, well, Smagglemite, yes, I because yes. he's like a fucking deranged hey, you wanna autistic pervert. You want to put it in your jar, pervert. you fucking yeah. sex pest. He just wants to put it you up know, his I'll ass. Fucking put it in my okay, fucking mouth, one. dude. I'll fucking use it as a chew toy. If, I, if I had a plushie to announce, this would have been the fucking best promotion ever. If I just immediately segue into a fucking plushie thing. You know what's so funny? I have the plushie sitting next to me right now. It's like sitting right next to my, my mixer from the After Hours episode. I've just never moved it. So every time I use my PC, I'll just see it there. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? All it right, is- keep going. I derailed this whole fucking stream. I'm yeah, sorry. no, you need to let that out because I was on the phone with you the other night and I heard you go on the same rant on the phone. I was like, holy shit. I was shit. just so fucking- I didn't I know so this was enraged. such a big thing to you. I, I just never knew this. No, it drives me nuts. Watching him go on stream and act like a loser, like during this whole time where we were giving Tipster the same shit and not giving it back to Boblax, because he was in genuinely such an awful place where he has to sit there and be like, thank you, Edwin and Salvo. Thank you for kissing on stream so I can sell stuffed animals. <laughs> was just like a disgusting display of fucking estrogen energy. And it was just disgusting. It was just awful. But it's, it's also the fact that he's literally the balls of his ass after taking time off when he knows he's only making $800 total per month across two channels. And he's like, now is the time I'm going to sell these plushies. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you will get one. Although this one, it's going to be different. It's going to have a blue jacket. It, okay. Basically what I asked them to do, and I haven't I haven't seen it yet. I'm so angry yeah, watching this. What's going to be, right? <laughs> Blur on the screen or something now. Just like... Dude, imagine his taxes. He, he immediately deleted his taxes folder right there. Did you see that? <laughs> oh. What the Fuck am oh, I looking at? Oh, nice. No, nothing. There's messages there. What are those for? Why do people still stream with display capture? Hey. It makes no sense. You just leak your whole asshole. Or at least if you're gonna stream with display capture, stream with multiple monitors. Like use a different fucking PC that doesn't have all your shit on it, right? Like holy sh there's like so many different things wrong with this. So jacket, I'm gonna change to blue, and we're gonna have a mayo monkey here. What? Uh, a the mayo what monkey the instead of a bird, and then my glasses. <laughs> Is he designing it live? Wait, wait a second. Adjusted. Wait a second. We could get a mayo monkey plush. I, I think we should fundraise that as a community. We should all come together and get the mayo monkey plush. Nick, you're not going to cut me off if I buy the plush, right? I'm getting a little yes. nervous. <laughs> I'll never talk to you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Like I want him to release same, a plush like where a he's in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> to keep the rarity of the uh of the first one right the and rarity to, like, of know, the first have one? another edition probably gonna call this one boby plush I hate you. When this is <laughs> two years ago now. i didn't hey, know yeah. this so, video started off with plush talk at the very beginning that's so I funny fucking hate you so much <laughs> oh, you understand like this is it went from like just anger to hatred when he started talking <laughs> about the plushie i swear wow. to god like like you could remove everything that happened i would be just as mad eventually i kind of do want to strike out on my own and make like the plush is outside of makeshift maybe what but I wouldn't he wants to make what? a plush no. a what? plush company <laughs> I don't want to die. Wait, <laughs> he wants to make like a plush business? I have secondhand embarrassment. Holy shit. Wait. I can't this, do this, dude. I can't this watch this This is his guy. new, like. I fucking hate him. This is his new business model. It's going to be making plushies for just children, just dude, generally. 
What are you no, gonna do when you come back, Bo Blacks? I'm gonna I'm gonna run a toy store. What the <laughs> fuck? He's gonna launch Bo Blacks's toy store in Canada. Dude. He's gonna sell dildos and plushes and nothing in between. What in the fuck am I listening to right now? <laughs> He's gotta be trolling me right now. Dude, this is just this has to be just bay, right? If he <laughs> if he was Wait a minute. Like, wow, I bet Nick feels bad about his unhinged rant now he just had over this autistic guy's plushy dreams. <laughs> that was like a deep personal attack you just made, Nick. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I didn't realize his whole life's goal was to become a, a traveling plush salesman. He's gonna sell plushies with cameras in them. This guy needs to be locked up. Oh, <laughs> My man. face hurts. I can't believe I just uh, listened to that. Holy shit. I didn't know how to go about doing that, and obviously... I he would... doesn't know how to go about doing that? Okay, do you guys remember when they found a really old blog that Tipster made in, like, 2006, where Tipster was talking about how he's gonna create, like, the new Apple? He's gonna create, like, a new computer operating system that defeats, like, Apple and Microsoft? He's gonna create, like, the third pillar of computer it's operating systems? Travel. Yeah. It's yeah. Neutral browsing history. This happened, like, last year. Somebody posted, like, a really old blog like tipster made when he was like fucking 17 where he had like these grand delusions that he was going to create like the new apple and it's really fucking funny this is what i feel like boblox is going through except right now where he's going to create like the next like plush toy line that's going to take over america i guess i don't know eventually i kind of do want to strike out on my own and make like the plushes outside of makeshift maybe but i wouldn't know how to go about doing that and obviously i would need higher numbers on my main my main's kind of been suffering view wise i kind of test it out the waters with my comeback of the two different types of videos i make original twitter verses and kind of the long form and then just slamming uh, 60 of my videos stuff. together and re-releasing them um, as stuff everyone's already seen before yeah yeah these videos i'm making a gaming video that nobody nobody comes to your channel to hear about power world that's not Dude, what people are saying imagine for. releasing a five hour video with ad suitability oh my god it's time. demonetized what's the e like, dude, what's oh, even the what? point wait, <laughs> wait why would you upload a three hour video okay you understand three hour videos are made to just farm ads that's all they're made for but he uploaded it demonetized why there's no reason to push that out there's literally no reason. He probably made money off of the individual parts of that video, and then he got demonetized as a comeback. Why would you upload that? What's annoying about this vid is that everybody was ta everybody's talking about, you know, my drama or whatever, but nobody's talking about, like, the I'm Alex drama, and I think that I'm, yeah, I'm like, no so one cares. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> gives a fuck. You're, you're <laughs> fucking six months late to a five-year-old story. That being said, though, if I release an I'm Alex video me. next month, it would do gang-busting numbers, so. People I mean, would oh, care, yeah. <laughs> Oh, if I released a video on a hundred percent. If I made an I'm Alex video, video I this year. Yeah. If I made an I'm Alex video tomorrow, third. people would care on my yeah, channel at least. But that would be me making a video, not just taking every Alex video I've ever made and slamming them together. That would bomb. Those videos, people will kind of let those slide if you're posting a lot. It's like you've posted five regular videos. Now let's put out some slop. But like if you post slop as like the second video back and then don't post really anything valuable after that. Yeah. Like what? Dude, you posted five years of Alex drama instead of just posting Twitter versus Mr. Beast. I have some plans to figure out how to revitalize my channel a little bit. Have you tried uploading like relevant the, shit? Uh, the controversy definitely yeah, he posted Twitter versus Grid. Helped. I As guess a I short. Try to like mend it, but I already tried to mend it. On, like, As a uh, YouTube Odyssey short. Like... Whoa, he uploaded multiple parts of the short, so it should. Damn, I love watching part two of a short. That's definitely what that feature is made for, it's a two-part series.